Hi everyone, welcome to Shell Sugar Rush. Welcome back if you've been here before. So today I'm going to be sharing with you these adorable little strawberry cocoa bomb cups. And this is going to be on our Valentine treat list. So if you enjoy things like this, stick around and watch me put them together. Okay, so we're going to get started with our strawberry cocoa cups. Um, for Valentine's Day. This is going to be such a cute little Valentine's treat. So just um, to give you an idea of what I have here, what we're going to work with today. And uh, of course I have some little cups. These are the little solo shot cups we're going to be using and some tape. Um, and just a little spatula. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's so tiny, but it's so cute. Um, and I have a tablespoon here for the cocoa. Um, and then I have some scissors. I've got some Valentine sprinkles just for decor, some of my favorites. Um, I have some melted chocolate. And in here, um, uh, with the chocolate, I mean, you can really use anything you want, compound chocolate or real chocolate, it's up to you. Um, I have it melted and ready to go. I am using uh, a combination of some candy coating, vanilla candy coating, and some of the Choco Maker White Fountain Formula Vanilla Flavor can Dipping Candy. Um, I really like this because it it melts so nice and thin and smooth. Um, I do combine it with some candy coating just to give it a little a little more thickness because by itself I do feel like it is a bit thin. So and then um, there, you know you can use the Ghirardelli melting wafers. Often I use these as well. Um, these are just some of my favorites and I have um, Of course, I have some Nesquik strawberry mix here for the strawberry cocoa And then I have some strawberry flavored marshmallows and yes um, I did pick these out of a bag of fruit flavored marshmallows I uh, picked out the pink ones so that I could use them in the hot cocoa bombs or cups rather and then some regular marshmallows and then I've got some straws that we'll be using for our little straws on top and then I have a pan lined with some parchment just to uh, put my cups on to chill them in the fridge or freezer once I get the chocolate in there. So we're gonna start by cutting the cup and you're just gonna go down one side um, all the way to the bottom there. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few of these. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna put a piece of tape down the side where I cut the slit in the cup. Okay, so that's done. And like I said, I have my chocolate over here ready to go. And if you notice, uh, my chocolate is on heating pad. And I didn't mention I do have some chocolate behind that. Um, and this is uh, some red and some pink. Um, melted chocolate in my piping bags here for drizzling later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pour some chocolate into my little cups and then we'll pour off the excess and then I'm going to put them on the pan and get them ready to go into the freezer for a few minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to put it back over my chocolate here and let that excess come out. But I'm going to kind of keep moving it around, kind of turning it, because I want to get it even coat on all sides of the cup on the inside. And then I'm just going to run it across the edge there. And I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to set it upside down on my parchment paper. You can see that I've got it upside down. And that is just how I like to chill my chocolate. Okay, and off to the freezer these go for about five or six minutes. Okay, so our cups have been in the refrigerator for a few minutes. So we're gonna see how they are. And you see here, um, you know, gives the, flipping them over just to be gives them a little more thickness here where we're usually most concerned about the, having the thickness. Um, I am go going to just go with the one coat um, and we'll see how that goes. But 
Here you can see there's a little bit of chocolate that gets kind of up on the lip when you turn them upside down. And I just kind of break that off and clean it up a little before I try to take it out. So, and then of course we're gonna remove our tape. And then we'll carefully pop this open just like that you know it's nice that it has that little lip on it because you can kind of if you have a fingernail like me you can just kind of slide your fingernail under there and loosen it away from the cup or away from the chocolate and then see if we can get it to slide right out I have to work with it just a little bit but How adorable that is. And it's not really thick. You can kind of almost see through it, but you don't want it really thick. I mean, I don't like mine really thick, just honestly, because it would take longer to melt once you put it in the milk. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of these out and then we'll do some filling and decorating. Okay guys, so we have four here. And sad to say, I did lose a couple. I kind of got lazy towards the end there and was a little rough with them. Um, but um, they're still salvageable. All, I have, all you have to do, if you do get a crack, is just put some more chocolate on the inside and give it some time to set up, okay? So now what we're gonna do with the four that we have here is we're gonna get them filled and get them decorated. Okay, so I've got a smaller spoon here. I think this one will work a little better. Um, for the little cups and I'm going to put three teaspoons let's we'll start with three want these about about two-thirds of the way full and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of chocolate in there just so that chocolate can seal our uh, powder in. To me, this is a little easier way. I know some people like to do lids to put on them, and that's okay if you wanna do it that way. You know, I've seen people cut off the bottom of a cup and put, um, you know, make a lid, and um, you can do it that way if you prefer, but to me, this is a lot easier and less work. So what we're gonna do here is just kind of drop some marshmallows in there. I'm gonna put the pink just in, just in two of these because I want to do red and white on the others. Um, so we get some white ones. And just drop some white ones in there. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my straws. And all I need to do for this is just cut, well, you can probably cut these in thirds, honestly. Because um, we don't really need it that tall. And we'll go ahead and get some red. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that in there just because I want it to set in the chocolate. Okay, now you wanna give those just a few minutes for that chocolate to kind of set up a little bit uh, before we go on, just so it won't, um, you know, melt the outside or damage the cup. Okay, so the chocolate inside is starting to set up a little. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the red. Actually, I'm gonna use the white on these. I don't really wanna use the red till I get closer to the top. So what I'm gonna do is just drizzle a little bit of chocolate in there. And same thing on this one. 
I'm gonna drizzle some chocolate. And this is just to help our marshmallows stick, okay? So, and then I'm gonna just fill up the top with some marshmallows. And now we'll go in with our red. And we're just gonna drizzle. Just kinda do a random drizzle. And then we'll add a few more marshmallows. And you see your drizzle is just gonna help them stick. And I'm gonna get some sprinkles with red in it. There we go. You know, something with red in it, so that'll be perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and just drizzle it again. And put some sprinkles right on top of there. And same with this one. How adorable is that? And we're gonna decorate our cups too. So we'll do that, we'll set this aside, let that set, and we'll work on our pink. All right, and there are our pink ones. And we're gonna give those just a few minutes just to set up so that I don't mess them up when I'm turning them. And then we're gonna add some hearts onto our cup. Okay guys, so we're gonna decorate our cup now. And you know, you can do a lot with this. Um, you can do a little fondant decoration with it or you can do an edible image. Uh, I had thought about printing off some edible images um, to put like a little Valentine's image to put on the front of the cups. But um, I wanted to make sure and do something that was easy and you know, for anybody to do at home. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna use the pink heart and I'm gonna get a little bit of a little bit of chocolate here. I drip some on there. And then we just take your heart and put it right on there. And see, nice little heart decor for Valentine's. And you could, you know, go all the way around the cup with these. I might do that. Maybe, maybe do like three. Okay, so our adorable little Coco Valentine's cups are complete. Be sure and let me know what you think about these in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be notified when I upload more Valentine treats in the future. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time.